Hey what's going on guys, Turtle Rossi here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be covering how you can go ahead and install the JDK and JRE for your system. Now this tutorial is going to be on Windows, there are other Mac and Linux ones out there uh, but I do not own those operating systems so I cannot show those. Um, if I manage to find uh, a good tutorial for them I will link it in the description. Uh, if not, you will have to read the installation guide. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we need to do is actually install it, and then we can set it up. So, we are going to be installing JDK 8. Uh, it is the same for any JDK, but since my tutorials are going to be for Minecraft modding, we need JDK 8. And we want the hotspot. Um, so make sure you're on Adapt Open JDK, not Oracle, because Oracle JDKs are not that great, and you have to do a lot of uh, account stuff. So once you've done that, you can just go ahead and click Latest Release, and when you do that, that will bring you a uh, MSI, which I'm just going to put on my desktop, and we need to just let that install. There we go, just like that. And now we can close this right here. Once that's installed, we can just double click it to open it up. And go through the installation guide, accept the terms and conditions. Um, we can actually tell it to set the path right here. Um, so entire feature will be installed on local hard drive. If you just select that, then that will set it as the um, Java home environment variable for us. And that also adds it to the path uh, for us, just like that. So if we just click next and install, this will need administrator privileges as it needs to, uh, it needs to access your environment variables so that it can set that path and the Java home. So we'll just wait for that to install. And that is it. You can now just press finish. And if we go ahead and check our environment variables, we sh can see that we have Java Home. Um, that's not the Java Home it should be using. I don't know why that one is there but I think that's just the user variable, so that's not an issue. But you can see down in this bottom one that the Java home is there, and if you look in the path, the path is there as well. So that is all great. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. You should now be able to open command prompts and type java c dash version and you'll see that you have um, whatever version you just installed so yeah i mean that's it so i hope you guys did enjoy this this quick tutorial uh, if you did be sure to you know smash your face into that like button and subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Good bye.